Yo, what's going on guys, it's Sportrack Extra TV here, back at it again, and today I got an unboxing video to go and share with you guys today. So, off of GoPowerSports.com, I recently ordered the 30 series torque converter clutch to go on my 212 Predator. Well, it's just arrived and I decided I'd make a quick little unboxing video for you guys just to be able to get more content out to you guys, and later on I will be doing an uh, assembly video. So how you guys can get this on the shaft. So as you guys can see, the box will come with GoPowerSports.com on it. Got my uh, trusty dusty knife. So we're just going to go ahead and carefully cut into it. Just a little cut. Going to make a little bit longer cut. comes with the paper for your order, I'm guessing. Yep, so that's pretty much what you get in the email once you order it. Ooh, I get some stickers, it's pretty cool. Uh, what I've heard is this is my first ever Go Power Sports product that I've ever purchased because I'm going to start building go karts now as a regular thing. Uh, apparently they switch up the stickers so they give you different stickers every single time so that's pretty cool so those are my first two go power sports stickers so it's pretty simple from here uh, right here in the right this is where the key is going to go so we're just going to go ahead and set this down on the paper here of the item so it's just sitting right here in the box um, okay so they're both zip tied down and it's going to grab my knife here Cutting it open is pretty simple. If you have knife or scissors, that's good. Weighs about mm, five pounds, maybe. Maybe about ten or so. I don't know. It's gonna come zip tied together. There we go. So now, I just have to cut this one. There we go. Safety second, guys. I'm just kidding. Safety first. So we've got this, uh, this little ring here. So this is the inside of the clutch. This is what it looks like. See, it slides in and out. So we're just going to set that there. Yeah, so this is how the 30 series torque converter is going to work. So first, when you have your motor out here, you're going to want to go ahead and take the key out. Once the key is completely out, we're just going to go ahead and walk over here just for a second. And here is our 30 series torque converter clutch. Okay, so it's going to come with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces right here. Okay, so the first things first, you're going to want to go ahead and... Uh, set this middle piece in, just like this. This is the piece right here. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and set this on top. So we should free spin, squeeze it down, make sure it's locked in place. Then we're going to go ahead and take this black piece, and with this little key right there, we're going to go ahead and take this black piece, set it in there, so it shouldn't move. And then, we're going to go ahead and take this little ring, set it on this piece, just like this. Now, we're going to pick this big thing up, and sign it all up. Oops, that fell up. And once you guys set it on top, resulting in a look something like this. 
make sure that it is set down nice and tight. And that is your 30 series torque converter clutch. That is the assembly. Sorry guys, so I did the unboxing and I just decided I'd come out here and do the quick assembly just for myself for the 212. But remember guys, something that Go Power Sports does not mention. You guys have to um, take out the key first. And then this will all slide on. And then if you're just ordering the clutch itself, make sure that because uh, it won't come with a bolt, make sure you can find the right thread uh, and the right size bolt to go in the tip of the shaft and bolt in right here. And that's pretty much it. Now you guys can get your 30 series torque converter clutch to use. And yeah, the unboxing is pretty simple. You just open it up and uh, sorry, cutting the zip ties was just a bit tricky. Um, you know, just cut open the box, you know, cut off all the zip ties, and you're good to go. Just get it all out and start assembling it. And then slide on the motor, and um, you know, bolt it in. And that should pretty much be it. Just put your belt on. Oh, by the way, guys, before you put on your belt, so I don't want to lift this up, but before you put on this belt, so this goes on first, and then this goes on right here. And you see how it moves? That's supposed to move for when the belt expands. Real quick guys, so here is the finished product as you guys can see. So the way you guys do put this on here. So once you have it all assembled, don't want to take that with us. Here we go. So what you guys do, I'm going to make sure it's still all assembled in my lap. So we're just going to go ahead and take this piece. You're going to see that little key notch. So I'm going to make sure that we have that lined up with this on it right here. And then we're going to go ahead and take oh, that below. on the top, but we'll just put it back on. It's just the little black piece. So we're just going to go ahead and slide this on like so. Real quick, we're just going to go ahead and while that sits there, grab this off the floor, find the keyway, put it on. You guys find your bolt that did not come with mine. By the way, guys, this is a 1977 Honda Aussie FL250. I'm just putting a belt on it like this. But yeah, so you're just going to need, because it's threaded, you're going to need a long bolt, and you're going to need to impact wrench it down. And that's where the belt goes. And at higher speeds, it will expand the belt out when it squeezes, um, resulting in more power. So that is the 30 series uh, torque converter clutch for you guys. And with that, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to have an amazing rest of your guys' day and night. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.